Summer is here and it also means that it's camping season. Now, whether you're an experienced camper who's gone out in the backcountry or you're pitching a tent for the very first time, my next guest has some tips to make your next outdoor adventure fun and exciting. Kevin Callan is an outdoor educator and author of the book, Another Bend in the River, The Happy Camper's Memoir. He joins us from Bridge North, Ontario. Kevin, how do you get someone who has maybe never camped before enthusiastic about heading out for the first time? I would say the most important thing, well, first of all, a sense of humor. <laughs> Kevin, I like that. That's a really good point. Everyone, I think, is they overexcel themselves the very first trip. And probably it's because some um, person that believes that they should overexcel themselves uh, takes them out and they hate camping. They hate it. Uh, and that's the worst mistake you can ever make. I'm the happy camper. I, I thrive. I don't survive out there, right? So make sure they enjoy their very first trip or you enjoy your very first trip and you'll want to keep going back. We don't want to overpack. We don't want to underpack. What are some of the important things that we should be bringing with us when we do go on a camping trip? It's just bulk. Uh, a lot of people just bring too much stuff. So if you use these compression sacks and make your, your sleeping bag, well, that's a really good um, quality uh, sleeping bag. It's so small and the smaller it is, the, the better, right? So your clothes, people bring way too many clothes. So uh, put them in a compression sack and make them smaller. Get your pillow, obviously bring a pillow, right? But put it in a compression sack. Those will save you so much more room for all the good things like your wine and whiskey and things like that. What are some of the unspoken rules or maybe some of the etiquette around camping? People say hello to people. I, 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 I can't believe this. My dad always taught me, you always say so hello to someone in the bush because they might have to save you one day. And that happened to me a few years ago. Kevin, what are some tips that you have if parents want to be taking out their kids for the first time? Do not wait until they're a pre-teenager. They will not go with you when they're a pre-teenager. They've become aliens, right? <laughs> My daughter, when she turned 14, well, it's not cool to be with you, dad, anymore, <laughs> right? So before that, she went on endless canoe trips, endless camping trips, and even in the front country, and just loved nature because so, she reconnected uh, to it. We all are born from wilderness. We all are connecting to it. We just need time out there to familiar ourselves with it. Make them part of the trip, the journey. Do not guide them. Be the camp counselor and, and make sure that they carry a pack or they make the mac and cheese around, around the campfire or they toast marshmallows. And they'll actually really enjoy the trip more because they're part of it. Now, of course, Kevin, we know that a camping trip can be so much fun, but people can get annoyed by the bugs out there. What are some of your tips about how to deal with bugs? Mosquitoes are brutal this year. I don't know what's going on with the world, but they're brutal. And how to deal with them. Yes, I can talk about using DEET. I can talk about um, other things, uh, but mosquitoes find you by your emissions, your, uh, your heat emissions. So the more frenzy you get, the more they are attracted to you. The more dark colors you have, they'll find you, right? So just bring someone on your camping trip that hate mosquitoes and afraid of them. That's your fly pot. They'll all go to them. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. That's Kevin Callan, an outdoor enthusiast and author, AKA The Happy Camper. So whether you're a beginner at this or a seasoned veteran, some great tips from Kevin there to make your camping season fun, safe, and enjoyable.